Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. In yesterday's podcast, we talked about using the date function to solve George's when do I send customer birthday cards question. And it just reminded me of one of my favorite things about the date function of all time. The date function, as we talked about yesterday, is basically a function that takes three variables. It takes a year, so for example, 2007, a month, and then a day. So if we wanted to call out the, let's say, the 29th of June, we put in 2007, 629 and it will give us that date. Simple enough. But the thing that's amazing about the date function is that it can handle really strange things. For example, if we would ask for the 35th day of June, it is smart enough to figure out that we're probably talking about the 5th of July. It's also possible to ask for maybe like the 17th month of 2007 and the 5th day, which will give us probably a date in May, sure enough, May 5th, 2008. So the date function is really good at handling things that don't seem to make a lot of sense. And one of my favorite examples of this is a question that came up a long, long time ago at the Mr. Excel message board. Someone said, hey, I have a column of dates and I need to come up with a formula that will show me the last day of the month. The last day of the month, well, that was pretty difficult. We started getting into kind of a discussion about, well, if it's January, March, May, we're going to have 31 days. If it's April or June, we're going to have 30 days, and if it's February, oh geez, we're going to have to look at the year. Maybe it's 29, maybe it's 28. And we were trying to build this big, huge if statement, and Aladdin came along and said, hey, you guys have it completely wrong. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the date function, and we're going to go to the first of next month. So which year do we want? We want the year that we have in column B. Which month do we want? We want 1 plus the month that we have in column B. And then which day do we want? We want the first. All right, so that always gives me the first day of the next month. And then Aladdin says, once you have that date, it's simple. Just subtract one from it, and Excel will do the date math to figure out the last day of the month. Sure enough, it works in leap years. No big if statement required at all. Um, one of my favorite formulas. This was a great example of where the first approach, building a big, huge if statement, seemed to be the way that everyone latched onto. And then someone walked in the room and said, no, try this. And everyone said, oh, that is far superior to what we were trying. The date function, one of my favorite functions in Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.